Hello and welcome to Blog Hazard. This is Andrew Long reporting from Hanover in Germany for this year's Biotechnica exhibition. Over the next couple of days I'm going to be chatting to some of the suppliers and manufacturers as well as some of the visitors, delegates and possibly even some of the catering and bar staff. So enjoy some of the shots from this year's show. Getting to Biotechnica is actually quite simple. Once you arrive at Hanover Airport, you can take the S-Bahn to Hauptbahnhof or Main Central Station, then catch another train to Messe Nord, which is about 20 minutes away. When you get to the Messe grounds, they even provide a courtesy bus from the entrance to the main hall, or alternatively, you can find other forms of transport with or without the promotional branding. The exhibition was located in Hall 9 and once you've dropped off a jacket or bag, you're ready to walk the aisles. After a quick caffeine shot, I decided to take a good look around. My first stop was at the Sartorius stand where I took a look at the Cubis laboratory balance. Cubis features a modular design which can be customised and configured to users and applications. It features a simple TFT touchscreen and transparent doors which offer clear viewing. Another key part of this event is the associated conference. The facility itself was impressive and it gave organisations the opportunity to share their knowledge and to communicate with delegates from around the world. I then went on to the Millipore mobile trailer exhibit where they showed me the Milliflex Quantum, a system used for testing microbial contamination in pharmaceutical production processes. They say that traditional microbiological methods are slow in obtaining results and a recent study demonstrated that the Milliflex platform could replace the traditional methods with up to five days saved for slow growing strains. Back in Hall 9 I visited the job vector area which is where 15 key manufacturers networked with potential candidates. The innovation forum was also staged in Hall 9 and this attracted a large audience too. I then went on to the Eppendorf booth to check out the New Brunswick Scientific Innova 44, a large capacity shaker that incorporates the renowned triple eccentric gyrotary drive which provides smooth, quiet and uniform motion. Also on show here is the Celagen Blue Cell Culture Bioreactor which offers scalable and custom configured solutions ideal for research or production environments. Next up was the Grant Instruments booth where I spotted the 3-in-1 PHMP microplate shaker incubator, a variable speed and temperature instrument designed for use with all types of standard 96 and 384 well plates. Vico were showing their Bioscope Catalyst Atomic Force Microscope, a product designed to make it easier to realise the unique benefits of combining atomic force and light microscopy. The Ultimate 3000 Nano LC system from Dionex is designed to optimise low flow separations and facilitate easy coupling to mass spec for the best resolution and sensitivity for Nano LC and proteomics applications. The BX46 from Olympus is ergonomically designed and offers excellent bright field clarity for screening and other routine laboratory work. It also has an energy efficient LED illumination to help reduce eye strain and operator fatigue. WLD Tech was showing off their Fuego range of gas burners, offering innovative design and extensive features for all flame related applications. And finally we have the Spectrostar Nano from BMG LabTech offering absorbance measurement with the flexibility to perform assays quickly and easily in both microplates or via the built-in cuvette port. It includes an ultra-fast UV vis absorbance spectrometer with simple push-button operation and the capacity to design and save individual assay protocols. It was estimated that around 9,500 people from 40 different nations attended this year's event and I for one will certainly be back for next year's show on the 11th to the 13th of October. So, from Hanover, this is Andrew Long saying vielen Dank und auf Wiedersehen.